Okay, welcome back to part 6 of Star Wars uh, Nice Seal Republic 2, the Sith Lords Let's Play. So we left off on this piece of dialogue with HK, with an HK-50 droid, um, talking about what happened really on the uh, Heaven Hawk, I suppose. What was this freighter that the Harbinger brought on board? Explanation. Uh, I believe there we it go. was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Speculation. As to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Bounty? Clarification. By bounty, I refer to your life, Master. It would pain me to see you damaged in any way. That is why the arrival of this Ebon Hawk caused me considerable distress. But why would that ship have taken me off the Harbinger? Apology. My memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much clearer. How so? Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. I must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. How did they find out I was a Jedi? Surprised answer. Why, I told them, Master. You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? I hope all that has happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the core word databases, which are notoriously spotty. <laughs> that information wouldn't have been in the core word databases, only in Jedi archives. Indignant exclamation! Master, I am only a protocol droid, but it is part of my function to know such information and relay it to any interested parties in the interests of terminating any potential hostiles. Potential hostiles. Quick clarification. Apparently my vocabulator has suffered some damage, Master. I meant terminating any potential hostilities. I see. Go on. Answer. All that has happened has been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. They debated what to do I'm not a Jedi Master. In the medical bay. Okay, that's kind of cheesy. seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. Then what happened? Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. These accidents coincided with the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures, resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. So... Basically, I guess... Well, as if it wasn't already obvious, all the mining droids killed everyone, basically. They mined them. So what happened to the rest of the miners? Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in isolated gas pockets in the lower levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently, cutting them off from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. Sadly enough? What do you mean? You see, the explosions had damaged specific sections of this facility's ventilation systems, causing a slow, lethal buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. Are you responsible for all this? Defensive answer. Master, 
I am a protocol droid, not a well-crafted assassination droid of unrivaled sophistication. <laughs> to have carried out the actions that took place here would have required an unusual set of skills. It is highly unlikely I possess the knowledge of how to reprogram the memory cores of base worker class droids into killing machines, let alone to terminate the organics of this facility, utilizing only Aerotech 500 series laser mining drills and explosives fashioned from proton missile cores. I think you're responsible. Admission. I cannot and will not attempt to change your mind, Master. I would urge you to consider that your Colto tank treatments may have caused some disorientation. I had some more questions for you. Of course, man. Uh, okay. Have you seen a T3 unit? Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. It is indeed curious that I have not seen. However, I feel I must inform you that, droid prejudice aside, <laughs> T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. But enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. The unit was last seen near the hangar. Answer. Ah. Then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors <laughs> are functioning adequately enough to verify that. Then maybe you can answer something else for me. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? I'm looking for a way into the Paracas hangar bay. Pitying answer. Oh, that is unfortunate, Master. The hangar is sealed behind a containment field. It would be impossible to open it. What about the override codes? Answer. Only the Paragus administration officer would have such codes, Master. If he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, then he is trapped in the dormitory section, which has been effectively cut off from the facility by explosives. Uh... There must be another way to reach the, dorm the dormitory. Theory. You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. I don't know. I only want the codes those miners have, and when I have the codes, I'll dispose of them and leave this rock. Warning. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. I'm your master, and I'm giving you an order to assist me. Weary resignation. Very well, master, but there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. <sighs> this just keeps getting better and better. Who's got the damn code? Correction. Oh, I already possess the code, Master. But I am afraid that it will do you no good. I'll be the judge of that. Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock his voice printed, musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession. Conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. 
But you do know the code. Condescending explanation. Oh yes, master. The code is maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Leave condescending out of your speech conditionals from now on or else. Placating answer. Oh, of course, Master. I shall endeavor not to forget such descriptors in the future. If I do, I assure you, it is merely a result of memory damage I have suffered since our arrival. If the maintenance officer is dead, how can I get him to speak the code? Answer. Master, you cannot. You are trapped here just as I am. There is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. Never mind then, I'll be going now. Okay, so... Whole bunch of dialogue and information there and backstory as to what happened on Paragus. Um, still basically neutral. Let's see what trouble I can get myself into. Okay, so we have a sonic imprint sensor which will allow you to play back sounds. I also, um, as I said before, the, uh, the lightsabers that I got can be upgraded. Well, I replaced them with upgradable ones because obviously there's no sense in having a non-upgradable lightsaber. So, what color do I want? Oh, of course. Red. Let's put in Paragoon and Kixoni. Assuming that's how you say it, Kixoni. Oh. Am I not dark enough to use it? Then I'll take out. So I got a little bit of a damage boost, apparently. Anything else? Uh, plus four blaster bolt deflection, regenerate one force point. Good, good. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, the sonic imprint sensor. Greeting. It is a pleasure. Okay, so what's that body there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Did he say anything at the end? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, stop with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering <laughs> inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Wait, if you can play back his voice, can't you speak the voice code? Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. I understand if your limited functionality prevents you from mim mimicking the maintenance officer's voice accurately. Irritated objection. Master, there is nothing wrong with my communications functionality. I will prove it. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Yes. I think that's all I'll need. Confused query. 
I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Never mind then.